Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Java 18 on Windows 10. With that, we will also see how we can run our first Java program on Windows 10. Let's begin. At first, go to the browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. On Google, type Oracle Java. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible, oracle.com. Click on it to open. On opening on the right itself on the official website, you can see download Java. Click on it. After clicking here, you can see Java 18 is available now. So this is what we want for Windows. I'll go below. Here it is Java 18. Now Linux, Mac and Windows for all three platforms. The Java 18 version is visible. We want for Windows. I'll click here. On clicking now you can see the now you can see three files are visible to download. We will go for the installer x64 that means for 64 bit Windows 10. Click on this file to download. On clicking the download will start here and you can see 153 MB only. Let's wait for a few seconds. So here in guys you can see we have successfully downloaded the Java 18 the JDK 18 exe file. Remember that for Java we only need JDK now. We don't need to install JRE separately because this installation includes JRE also. So I'll just double click on it to install. Minimize this. Guys, the installation started. Now let us click on next. After clicking next, here in you can see it will create a Java directory in program files and the installation will go inside it. The installation files will go inside it. You can change the location from here, but the default is fine. Click on next. The installation started now. So guys, we have successfully installed it. Click on close. Now let us see wherein we have installed Java. Remember it was in C drive program files. Here is Java. Inside JDK 18, I told you it will get installed here. Now here and go to bin. Right click and copy this path. Now minimize. Go to start. Type environment variables. Here and click on edit the system environment variables. The first one click on open. Click on environment variables from here. Here in under system variables. The path is visible. We will set the path now. Double click on it. Click on new and just just right click and paste the same path. So we pasted the following path. Now guys click on OK. Now here in I'll also create another path that is new that is click on new. This will be Java underscore home path. Here in paste the same variable value that is the path but remove the bin here. That's it click on OK. We have set two paths, click on OK and click on the last OK. That's it. We have successfully installed Java. Let us verify now. Go to start. Type CMD. That is command prompt. Click on open to open the command prompt. Now herein we will type a command to verify that we have successfully installed Java or not. For that, type Java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Herein you can see guys, we have successfully installed it. Today is 22nd March and this is the current, this is the exact Java 18 version which we installed. We can also check for Java compiler type Java C that means Java compiler and press enter. Here and you can see. Now you can type Java C space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Now you will see the same version will be visible that means Java 18 we have successfully installed it. Now guys let us see how we can easily create a new Java program. Okay for that guys. Let me create a folder on the desktop. You can create it anywhere. So let's say the name is Amit Programs. Double click on it to open. We have opened it. Now let us right click and create a new file. Create a text document from here. I'll name it to let's say Studiopedia. Okay, now you can see the extension is .txt. If you want to change it, just type .java here while renaming it. 
it will ask you that you need to change the file name extension click on yes after clicking after changing you can see it has been converted to java source file if you are unable to find these extensions that means you need to enable it for that here and you need to click on file name extension you can see i have already clicked it if i'll uncheck it no extension will be visible so you need to just select it and then rename it okay after that right click and you can open this with notepad or even notepad plus plus let me open with notepad here it is now let us quickly create a code okay let us write this public class studyopedia since the file name is studyopedia you need to mention the class name the same as same for the main class especially for the main class so i have created it now i'll just go to file and you can see i'll click on save okay now we have studyopedia.java file let us quickly understand the program initially this public is an access specifier class is the keyword to define a new class so using the class we have defined a new class with the name studyopedia then we have the public static void main function the main function that is public is access specifier static basically allows the main function to be called without without the need to instantiate a particular instance that's why we have added static void is a return type main is the main function it is called whenever any java application begins so we'd be wondering what is string arguments these are used for command line arguments basically this is an array array of arguments okay if you want to print using command line argument you can refer a link in the description of this video wherein i have provided a video to run command line argument programs on java now system is a predefined class that is used to provide access out is the output stream and out is the output stream and println is used to display the string so whatever is inside this will get printed that's it okay now i have saved it i'll just i'll just minimize this now we have the following path of our program just copy it okay minimize go to cmd again just type cd that is change directory and right click here and press enter okay you can see we are already under c user amit underscore we just need to reach the desktop and go to the amit programs folder okay or you can do another thing you can just type dir here on typing dir you can see but the most immediate directories are the following we want desktop so by just typing cd space desktop that's it press enter after that i'll just type dir again and here in you can see we have the amit program folder how we will reach it cd space amit program that's it press enter we have reached here now type dir again to view the files here it is we have our studyopedia.java file we just need to run it how first i'll compile it using java c java c means java compiler so in java first we compile the program then we run it type the same file name studyopedia.java and press enter if there will be any error it will show you here itself at the time of compilation that is compile time error so if the following is visible that means there is no error now type java space the file name without the extension java.java .java. okay now we will run the program press enter here it is we successfully ran our first java program here you can see we printed the following java 18 first program and the same is visible here okay so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install the current java version that is java 18 with that we also saw how we can run our first java 18 program so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things